Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be flipping through the first half of my daily journal. This is the Moleskin daily journal. I found it on Amazon and I accidentally purchased the 2022 version but I just cover all the dates and make it a 2023 journal. So next year I will not be making that mistake and I'll get the right one so that will be much more helpful but it wasn't a huge crisis to cover them all up because I wanted to add collage papers anyway. Here's how I decorated the outside. Right here I have my own washi tape, which you can find my on my Etsy at Star Stationery Supply. These two are from Packet Journal Pam collage sheets. This sticker is from Paper Source, and I don't know where this smiley face is from. And these are just two little flower cutouts, and I used smiley face stickers to go over them. And then I just used some basic number stickers to put 2023. On the back I have a sticker that I found at like an antique store. They just randomly had stickers but it says one day at a time and it just fit perfectly on the back of my journal. So I was very happy about that and it's just perfect because this is a daily journal so it's a page for each day. Then when we open it up we got our little this journal belongs to and the starter page and then in the front there's like more informational stuff and some monthly pages that I don't use especially because the monthly pages in this were off because I purchased the wrong one so it just really was unhelpful but then we get to another cover page I got some stickers from pride and then I have like some hello kitty stickers that I think are from five below and yeah I just decorated these however I wanted to then it goes right in into the daily pages. So I started off this journal in Denver. I was helping my sister move and so just so you know throughout this journal I use a lot of collage sheets by Pocket Journal Pam who has a Patreon and Cat Collage Club which is actually its own website instead of on Patreon. So like this is from Cat Collage Club and like this number is from Pocket Journal Pam. I love adding little titles and a thicker marker to stand out because it helps me when I'm just looking back at what I've done to understand what's going on a little quicker instead of having to read each page all the time. I mean I don't look back on them too much but it's nice to like remember certain things. So I play a lot with washi tape and collage sheets and like sometimes like some different decorative papers and stickers. In these pages I use a lot of collage sheets just because I'm so excited to be using collage sheets because I had just gotten them in December so I was so excited about collage sheets and I was just using them everywhere in my journals including my other journal because I still have another journal on top of this. I have multiple journals but this is just my daily one and I feature what I do every day in this journal but then when I want to journal more than that I have other journals outside of this that I can work in. Like this is from Pocket Journal Pam. Same with this. So we're to the 7th and 8th. I was very excited about decorating these pages and I had a lot of fun decorating them and making them feel full. You'll see in parts of this journal, I still tried to do that, but I wasn't as intense about it, I guess, as I was here. Because I just was really in the mood to journal in these days and having so much fun with it. So yeah, we're in January. We're about halfway through January right now. I love getting stickers from, like, coffee shops and stuff and, like, trying to include them. It's hard when these pages are so small, but sometimes I'll just like cut them in half or something and still try to include them. Here I used like a little watercolor in the background. I think this is what the first time I was starting to do that in this journal. I really love adding watercolor and lately I've been adding distress inks instead of watercolor, but I do want to add some more watercolor again because I just think it really adds some color to the page and it looks really nice. I also got these little date, almost like sizes of stamps. My mom got them for me. I think she got them from like station pal or something like that but they had them for the year and it just has the date and the day of the week so it is very personalized to the year but I even use these in this journal as well this is from cat collage club 
I printed this one out on some clear sticker paper and I was playing around with that. Same with this date. It doesn't work great for the dates because I was trying to cover up part of the date where it was incorrect. But I do love the clear sticker paper because it really blends in with the page. I also printed on just normal sticker paper too so I just kind of played around with that. Now we're getting into February. Some more watercolor. I love adding in little things on my day. I see a lot of fortunes from fortune cookies because that was my favorite food to get with my friends while I'm at school. I use a lot more watercolor in these days. Now I, I really needed to do it again because I love the look of the watercolor. I just haven't pulled mine out recently. Here is Distress Inks. So it's like a spray. So I play around with some of those as well. Another fortune. Here I played around with like different types of pens and now I always change up my pen color as a way of adding color to the page. This my friend drew on so I put it in my journal. This was the Distress Ink, this spray right here. You can get them at like Michael's and it tends to bleed through so you can always tell when I have Distress Inks because it's on both of the pages. I went to New York for a school trip and we went to the Cooper Hewitt Museum. These stickers are from Dollar Tree and I love them because they have a little texture to them and they're really cute. Um, I have some more of those. Yeah, here is the leaf version. I highly recommend those stickers from Dollar Tree. Again, another like brand sticker. This is a bookstore in Baltimore that I went to. I put in a little card, just like a piece of ephemera that I thought would be fun to add. These pages, I was <laughs> not finishing. I hate the look of a non-full page. But you know, this is a daily journal, so not every day is going to be full of words. Some days are just going to be less writing, and sometimes I might not be in the mood to journal. We just have those days. Just so you know, I don't journal every day, even though this is a daily journal. I often have to catch up every few days. But sometimes I am in the mood to journal every day, and I get in the habit of it. I feel like especially when I'm in school, I tend to journal a lot, which you would think I wouldn't because I'd be busy with school, but I often get in the flow of working on it then. Here I have a little sticker from Julia K. Art Studio. I got some of her watercolors. Pocket Journal Pam always uses them, and so I really wanted to try them, and they are amazing. I love them so much. One day I definitely want to get more. another fortune here you can see like the different types of inks I used and stuff which is something I do a lot of now I was playing around with fountain pens and different inks and I really got into fountain pens and I love them so much I started including pictures and stuff with my little printer my mom gave me this swig water bottle for Easter this, this is Easter and i love it so much it has little smiley faces on it and i use it just by my bedside or to go get coffee in i started including the little stickers from like my avocado or something which is just a cute little detail adds a little information about your day another picture I include, a, I started including a lot more pictures, which I do really like because I think that pictures can add so much information to your spreads and it's something really nice to look back on. The hero was in Denver to visit my sister for her birthday, so I have a picture with her. So that was really nice to be with her and then I had to leave.
another fortune. Like I said, there will be a lot of those. I love this little cat illustration. It's from Cat Collage Club, and it's so cute. I think I made myself a cup of tea that day just so I could use this collage sheet. These watercolors right here are definitely my Julia K. Arts watercolors. Just so you know what they look like. They can be very opaque if you want them to, which is why, what I really like about them. I love this page. I just love this cat. I love Cat Collage Club collage sheets. They're so cute. Same with this cat. I think this is my favorite cat from Cat Collage Club. I just love this little outfit. I don't even know what month we're on. It might be in April. I think we're in April. Oh wait, now we're in May because it's the 5th. So now we're in May. So this is when I was leaving school because I just got out of school. So you know, there was some traveling going on. I love getting mail. I think I was writing letters this day. So I put in this little cat collage sheet sticker. I made it into a sticker. Here is my one of my Coeco inks that I use in my fountain pen, this orange color. Here's this another sticker from a coffee shop. I tried using this gold inks. I was playing around with inks here. I love inks. But yeah, it was I got this gold one that's really pretty. Same with the silver. I went bowling apparently. I went to a state park. I love the pink on this page. This is from the distress ink, so it's not the spray one. You like rub it on um it's on the ink pad and it's by tim holtz which is who makes the distress inks here i put it in a little picture this time i printed it off of a regular printer instead of my shiny printer which is like my mini printer which is right here i got my first car which is such a big thing for me um so i printed out a little picture very exciting farmer's market Here I did a lot of writing. I'm often too lazy to add in extra paper, but I guess I wanted to do the writing that day. But I often have enough to say to add extra pages on, but I don't often do it. Went to Starbucks this day, apparently. Here's another picture. I went to Dallas and I went to Daiso while I was in Dallas. Another collage sheet from Pocket Journal Pam. I went swimming and I made a little packing list out of this card that I got from Daiso. I got a picture of my brother here. I went on a road trip. I did a lot of traveling here because we had multiple graduations to go to and, you know, just things to do. Again, didn't really finish the writing here, but I try not to beat myself up about it. More coffee sticker. This time I just split it in half and I kept the whole sticker though. Here I used stamps, which I really liked how the stamps looked, but they did bleed through a lot, but I just used it to decorate both pages these little pressed flower stickers are from michael's if you're wondering and here's a picture of my sister it's just a funny picture of her because her phone was broken so she had to carry her ipad around everywhere tuesday and wednesday here i messed up the days i was leaving the next day so i had to put tomorrow in parentheses for my title because i was just wasn't paying attention but there's a little picture of my sister and I like doing our hair beforehand and hers just looked really funny in the picture. So we went to Chicago to see Boy Genius. This was literally the best thing. We were both so excited. These were our outfits and we went on Pride. I think the 24th is Pride so it was just like wrecked. Then we had to drive home the next day because we went there just for the concert. And then this is it. This is like the six month mark, I think. I've already started, obviously, the next half of the journal. And I can't wait to update you guys on that at the end of this year. And then I'll be setting up a new journal for the next year. So that's my daily journal for 2023. Let me know what your journaling system is this year if you're doing a yearly journal or if you're just doing regular journals so let me know what you're doing in your journals this year so we can have a conversation about that in the comments thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in my next one